Uh, one of our photographers, Jeremy Dunk, was out around town today, and he ran into a Clemson fan who wasn't really a Clemson fan. Turned out the guy had lost a bet when, uh, when Clemson won the uh, national championship and had to get Clemson cut into the side of his head. Well, I'll tell you something. Green Bay Packers fans don't lose bets to get that haircut. They do it because they are Packer backers. Kareen Zell joins us now live. She's got a story of a little action in happening back in Milwaukee, huh, Kareen? George, if you were here in town, you would probably want to do this. Not only are fans getting their heads shaved with the Packers logo, they're getting it painted green and gold. It's a familiar noise at Lids and Clips Barber Shop on Milwaukee's south side. Just try to blend it, the size right now. That's where Tony the Barber is using his latest idea. I want to try to use this area right here. To sharpen up his skills. I'm doing it. I feel like let's do it. He's helping Packers fans support the team in style. That's a lot of fans in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I say, okay, you really, you are really fan? You want to put the design in your head? Come on with me. Who's a really fan? Maria Herrera says her son fits that description. When we we'll get together, we're screaming and rooting for the Packers. So I was like, I know he's going to like it. That's why she brought him here. Because I like the Packers a lot. Fans are specific about what they want. They're looking for the G. I can put like something like freestyle around or lines, but they want the G. This 10 year old approves. <laughs> You think it's going to bring the team good luck? Yeah. Tony the Barber agrees. Because the Green Bay Packers right now is like, wow. Go back go. It takes a little less than an hour to do and will cost you around 40 bucks. We have information about Tony the Barber on our website, tmj4.com.